Ardy, Grand Rapids Rock Alternative. It's the Free Beer and Hot Wings Show. Free Beer, Hot Wings, and Eric Zane this weekend. Halloween Hellraiser goes down. I know. Brought to you by GRD and Founders Brewing Company. Halloween Hellraiser. Dead Sarah Saturday night. And Abouan Park, downtown GR. Also, the Bang Ups and Fine Fine Titans also on the bill. Mm -hmm. You can also take part in the Zombie Dash, the 5K Zombie Dash. We have guests in studio with us. Mark Van Tungren and Sarah Eldridge. Mark's with Michigan Adventure Racing. He's the race director for Saturday. And Sarah Eldridge, she's with Founders Brewing Company. Tiny little strong arms brought in nine cases of booze for us. Thank you, Sarah. Wow, that is something. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome to both of you. Thank you. All right, so this race Saturday night, it goes down at sunset, or is it just before sunset? Yeah, I mean, do you have an approximate time? Waves from 6.30 till 7 p.m., so sunset's at 6.41. Okay. I had to do the research on it. Uh, okay. So we want some people who are kind of chickens, like Sarah, can do the race <laughs> while it's uh, not dark, and the rest of the people, you know, as, as it's getting dark, it'll, it'll be um, dark in spots, and then... You know, along the river walk, it'll be light. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I tried to shut down the power grid for, for downtown. I wasn't allowed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Okay. Do you think anybody's going to, like, with the success of the television show Walking Dead, amp it up and maybe run with a crossbow? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, it's not allowed. I actually have that in the on the website. Yeah, no, but, yeah, no, yeah, weapons. No, no actual yeah, weapons. Don't try to you, take yeah. out the walkers. <laughs> yeah. uh, you can register, by the way, the thezombiedash.com. $39 to be a runner. Uh, be a zombie. It's free. Yep. Okay. So you, gotta, you gotta put some. Don't show up. Uh, this is not Mark's yeah. statement. This is my yeah. statement. But don't show up as a half ass zombie dra dragging a leg and you have a torn t shirt. Right. Put some work in. Yeah. Come okay. on. Mark, do you secretly agree with me? Yes. Okay. You want. Yeah. You yeah, want it's you no want good if somebody just shows up wearing a dirty shirt and they go, I'll just have my tongue hang out. <laughs> because, you know, you have uh, over 400 people who volunteered to be zombies, yes? Correct. Now, some of them are people you know and affiliated with the race, but some just came have just come out of the woodwork, right? Yeah. 398 just came out of the woodwork. Wow. Like, wow. Like, that's my guess. But, okay, wow. so these people love... This yeah. town is big on zombies. I remember there was the, the whole zombie walk thing that was a pretty popular thing for a, a yeah. little while. I don't, I don't know if it's still going on. And so, you know, this is... Uh, it looks to be a lot of fun, and more people can still get involved. Do they have to contact you or just show yeah. up? How does it work? Uh, just if they go to the website, uh, thezombie-dot-com, up until five o'clock today, we'll still take zombies and runners. Okay. Okay. And Very good. To participate in the race, you said that's the same thing. Five till five o'clock tonight, or yeah. is five o'clock tonight on-site sign up or no, anything? It's no, all ahead of time. We, we tried doing that um, at a race at Robinettes in April. We did the first zombie dash, and it's just. Too, too chaotic. So uh, we need zombies to plan ahead. I know that's not normally their nature, but yeah. um, you have anybody who takes it a little too serious, not just with like with a crossbow or whatever, but you're like, all right, you're just being a zombie jerk now. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. you know there's been a few muggings, um, and so you know I, I try to be I try to be mom to everybody and say, zombie hey, muggings. Yeah. You know it's not a big deal because yeah the runners have two um, flag football flags we call them life strips, mm -hmm. and if those get pulled you get a minute no, I didn't know added that. on okay. your time so that's okay. kind of the incentive for the the zombies to to lunge after the runners we don't want zombies running you know for a mile after some runner you know <laughs> they need to stay in their same wow, spot wow now that makes it a lot more interesting because yeah, i was under the impression fun. when this started that they just run and then weirdos go Ugh, you know and then that's it <laughs> and it was all yeah. for atmosphere yeah. but there is some level of uh, competition yeah. between the zombies there and is. the actual now, runners yeah now zane with how much you like to be startled this seems like the perfect race for you with zombies jumping out and trying to scare you. Oh, my It's God. good for your heart. I, You know, uh, that would be awful. That would be yeah, just terrible. It's not your thing. No, yeah. man, it wouldn't. It this wouldn't. is a Joe thing. Joe likes to be startled. He actually yeah. likes that. And you, uh, now you have, I mean, a lot of 5Ks, two, 300 people at a 5K is a pretty good size 5K. You've been doing races for some time, I imagine. Yeah, last July is when we started. Okay, but as a race director, you probably see a lot of races where sure. the world, uh, a lot of numbers are pretty good, like two or three. You already have already uh, over 1,000 people that are in, that are participating in the race. Isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. And doing it at night, I yeah. mean, I think is the key. I mean, there, there are different zombie and Halloween races you right. know, around. Uh, ones that are done at night with this kind of flag football format, we haven't seen any 
um, okay. line anywhere in the world. There's one in the Sounds Philippines that's real unique. close. But that's, okay. uh, that's about it. So yeah. they, wow. they do it in the Philippines. Uh, so I thought that was kind of fun. Now, okay. Sarah, after the race, everybody can get bombed at Founders. <laughs> it's actually, there's a tent in the yeah, park. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be there for the Actually concert. drink beforehand. That's how yeah. they get them to act like zombies. Yeah. I'm yeah. not saying go get bombed at Founders. You can drink however much you want. Drink but responsibly. You, you will be featuring yeah. the uh, All Day IPA, Red's Ride, Dirty Bastard, and Porter yes. at the tent. Yes. That's pretty awesome. Okay, that's yep. cool. That's so, very again, cool. when, where, how, can someone help me here? Because I don't follow these things. I'm going to actually talk about it. Want me to do it? Please. Mm -hmm. uh, you can sign up for the race at thezombie-dash.com. The concert with Dead Sarah and the two Grand Rapids bands uh, is free at Anabawan Park in downtown GR. To buy VIP tickets so you can meet the band and be in the VIP viewing area right in front of the stage, you can go to WGRD.com. Those tickets get you a meet and greet and one beverage ticket at WGRD.com. And obviously, Founders will be there as one of the presenting sponsors, sponsors with all their great beers. And, and Mark's running the race. This is all taken care of. You guys do all the heavy lifting, and then we at GRD say, Brought to you by 97.9 <laughs> GRD. Yep. Welcome to our race. Yeah. Yep, glad we thought of this Look one. Look how great we are. Yeah. This together. That, well, technically, we do that. I think there are people here at the radio station who put in a lot of work. Yes, uh, there absolutely. are. Absolutely. But uh, when we talk about this on Monday, we'll say it like this. Hey, remember that great idea we had on the Free Beer and Hot Wings show for the Halloween Hellraiser? Well, that was fantastic. Boy, that really went and well. And those beers we brewed. Oh, were those good. <laughs> it was nice of founders to distribute them for us. <laughs> for Mark and the Sarah, bottles. thank you for coming in. Uh, have a fantastic time on Saturday. Thank All you right, very much. we got to talk about the Tigers and their unfortunate loss.